Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nightwing2303 from kicksoncourt.com. Today I have a quick look at the Barkley Closet Max. This is the eggplant colorway. It's not um, anything special. Uh, a lot of you guys have seen it already. But um, there was a lot of requests to do a performance review on this shoe because there's a few people that were seen wearing them in the NBA and I believe the dunk contest. I can't remember for sure. but um, So yeah, so I finally got a pair. Uh, they sold out everywhere in my area, so I did pick these up over at airnight.com. Um, I tried to get the Sixers colorway, the blue ones, but they sold out in my size. They still do have sizes available if you wanted those before the release date. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright guys, so here's just a quick look. Most of you guys already know what these are all about. Um, basically it's got your new buck upper, your foam posit, side panel, and wrap. Carbon fiber shank. Then the 180 heel Air Max unit. Up in the forefoot, um, I was curious to know what kind of cushion was in there. Um, and it's not zoom air. I don't feel any zoom air. It is really comfortable though. When I took out the insole and I felt inside, it feels like a really plush foam. Um, when I flexed the shoe, there was no bulges or weird uh, flex points. So again, there's no zoom air in there whatsoever. Um, but it is a very comfortable foam. I'm assuming it's probably like Cushlon or something like that. Um, I'm not positive though. Uh, but the whole setup basically feels like the Air Penny 5, so I'm going to go with that and just assume that it is Cushlon. Um, but again, it's not a for sure thing. So basically, these are just a hybrid from all of uh, Barclays' signature models from back in the day. Really like the laces. Laces are dope. And of course, I like the logo. A lot of people already know about the bottom sole saying not a role model. And then this does glow in the dark. I am kind of curious to see what kind of traction these are going to provide just because there's only a little bit of herringbone and the rest is this flat surface. And flat surfaces tend to work well in dusty situations, um, whereas this stuff, the herringbone, tends not to work out well in dusty situations, especially with it being so thin. And it's not very pliable either. So um, I do know that this was not meant for a basketball shoe. It is a sportswear shoe. Um, however, there are basketball technology, um, current technology on the shoe as far as basketball performance goes. So we'll just kind of see how it goes. Um, one thing is that they feel really heavy in hand, but when they're on your feet, they actually don't feel like that whatsoever. I don't know why. Um, it's probably just because they're so comfortable. So, um, but yeah, there's that. And the 180 unit. So, yeah, this is a uh, this is definitely going to be an interesting one um, to to play in, just because uh, the last few foam posit shoes I just haven't like they haven't been very very good. Um, I think the last hybrid I played in was like the rookie that had foam posit. I know that I played in like the Jordan Son of Mars; those were okay. Um, so, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, again, they don't feel as heavy as they feel in hand like they don't feel that heavy on feet so uh, they sure as hell look bulky though like they they look just as bulky on feet as they do right here on the table like these things look like monsters so um but uh yeah so we'll see how it goes and uh, that's pretty much it once again i picked these up over at airnight.com if you're looking for a pair um i'm sure there's other places as well but that's just where i went and get got mine and let's see Sizing, they fit true to size. They don't fit snug. They don't fit loose or anything like that. They actually have like that perfect fit. So um, I do like that. Um, only complaints I have is the foam posit is a little bit on that flimsy side, but um, you know overall it's not a big deal. Uh, it's kind of reminds me of the foam posit they used on the hyper posit, uh, which I did end up liking. So I'm pretty sure that I'll end up liking this as well. But for the price, they're just really expensive. So I was pretty surprised um, at that but it's not a big deal for me so um, but yeah that's pretty much it I know this is probably not the best lighting but it's got like this iridescent look to it and all that stuff so um, stay tuned for a performance review eventually I have I have a bunch of stuff that I gotta finish I have um, the anti-gravity from the KIX or K1X um, sorry about that but I have those coming up um, then I'll also have the Air Jordan 14 coming up right after that, and then right after that I'll have the Hyper Disruptor, um, and then I'll also get done with the uh, the T Mac ones, which 
right off the bat. I, pr I would never play in those ever again. Um, but I'll explain why and the performance review. So, um, but yeah, those are the, the, the models to look up to next. Um, those are the ones where I'm pretty much completed with those uh, reviews and I just have to get them uh, finished and out. So um, stay tuned for more. Stay tuned to my site, kicksoncourt.com, for all of your performance needs. And thank you guys for watching. So until next time, guys, have a good one.